Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pass the Money. Um, before I get started, I know this this video is gonna sound like I'm complaining and I want to be part of the Cool Kids Club. That's not the case. Um, what this video is really about is understanding the circle that you're around. And I tell this to everybody. I tell it to my nieces, and nephews, my sons, and all family members. The circle that you're around is very important. And I put it like this. Everybody has 10 p.m. friends, 6 p.m. friends. And those are the friends that, you know, you can call, go out with, blow money, and always doing everything that you shouldn't be doing, especially if you're trying to get financial security in your life. Everybody has those. But what people don't have a lot of is those 3 a.m. friends. And 3 a.m. friends are the friends that if something happens, you can call them an instance and they'll be there. They were to bury the bodies. You know, you make mistakes, you have financial hiccups, they are there. Usually 99% of the time, your 10 p.m. friends that always want to go to the club, go to the bar, go hang out, go blow money, they're never your 3 a.m. friends. But what I I know and it has a propensity to happen, this is how it works. And it, it happens to me a lot is when everybody's turning up and you know all the engagements they always call in their 10, 10 p.m friends they always call in the 10 p.m friends the 10 p.m friends are always out there you know to do the fuckery to do the stupid stuff and then when times get hard then you remember that 3 a.m friend now you probably ain't called this cousin auntie brother sister friend in weeks months years even but they have to follow you through social media. You know, when you got married, you ain't calling the 3 m friend. When you get, you know, have a kid or when you're doing all this great stuff. But every time you need something, you always call them 3 a.m. 3 friend. I always tell people, I only want 3 a.m. friends around me. Like, if I got these 10 p.m. friends around me, I already know. They just come in to take, 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 take. Alex, I remember uh, one time I called you. I mean, for me, it was like, it was like a no brainer. It was like, all right, call Alex. But I call Alex like 50 times a day anyway. But I was like, I was like, hey, Alex, my I had an account that was attached to a business account that I couldn't use to transfer money. And I just called you I was like, hey, Alex, uh, can you send this money? I'm just going to send it, give it right back to you. And it was easy peasy. But but I knew in my head, I don't have it's not that many people that that's always calling me that I could call and just say do that. You see what I'm saying? And but what you see, you see get shunned a lot is the 3 a.m. friend, the one that's always going to be there for you for the 10 a.m. turn up friends. But then that 3 a.m. friend is going to be the one that's going to save your ass. So why don't you surround yourself more with 3 a.m. people than those 10 p.m. people? Because the 10 p.m. people going to make sure your ass stay broke forever. That's true. That's a that's a good point. And um, I think that's important, too, like when you're wanting to start your own path, like when I started to, you know, really focus on growing my money, I started to cut out friends, whether it was unintentionally or intentionally. And it was because honestly, some of them were just holding you back. And if you're trying to be focused on something, you got to be focused and not surrounded by people that are going to in the slightest way, pull you back or hold you back because you got to give it your all and take that chance. But you know, I think that's a hard thing for people, though, is breaking those friendships because they can't emotionally take it or whatever. I don't know, but it's important and it's necessary. And it's true what you're saying. You know, those 10 a.m. or those 10 p.m. friends, like those are the ones that are just, you know, doing stuff that, you know, doesn't really matter. Maybe they're just entertaining, but at the end of the day, like they're not actually of any value, truthfully, to you. They're not there when you really need them or they have they provide nothing for you. And it's not to say that you need to look for, you know, friends so that they can give you stuff. But it's just like a true friend should be there no matter what. And, you know, always have your back and actually care about you, not just like, hey, we just, you know, go hang out and have fun and a couple of drinks like someone that's actually a friend should be should actually be there for you when you need them. Right. And Alex, you said you said 
intentionally or unintentionally you lost friends and i'm gonna give you a scenario how it happens those you know those 10 p.m friends you know the friends that's always doing nothing the losers in everybody's life they was calling you i mean because probably before you go out to the bar with them or go out hang out with them and have dinner and then now they call them like hey ellis let's go do this hey ellis let's go do that and then you're like oh no nah, man i'm just gonna stay back i don't want to spend no money and then you know they keep calling then after they hear a couple no i don't want to spend no money then it's just all right forget that you know i i mean we told the story about you know i was heavy in a poker scene in texas and that was you know one of the worries that i had was telling people that hey you know i'm broke and how they will receive me and then when i told the person that was most important you know on a friendship level and then only thing he said was i'm proud of you that's a 3 a.m friend he was like i'm proud of you keep striving i ain't gonna do nothing to uh i'm and this these was, these was exact words I, i'm proud of you keep striving doing what you're doing i'm not gonna do anything to deter you from doing that hey we still gonna you know hang out or whatever we're gonna do it you know the way that you want to do it you know let's keep it you know very cheap maybe just come at the house you can watch a fight at, the, at my house or something like that we ain't got to go out to the bars and clubs and all that stuff that's that's what it was now the, all and i was a lot of other people on the poker scene when i said no i ain't playing poker no more i ain't playing poker no more they just stopped calling all together hell still ain't called me to this day and i still play poker every now and then but that's that's what happens it's it's when you're trying to get your life together those people that don't want to get their life together or don't believe you're gonna get your life together those people are just gonna move to the wayside and find some more 10 p.m friends to hang out with and then next thing you know you're gonna start ascending and then you go into your apex and then those same people that shunned you are gonna be the same people oh he think he's better than us no you didn't listen when he first said it and said hey i'm trying to get my shit together and that's what happened yeah yeah and it, it's funny like you said like hanging out at the house like it's a weird culture that we're in where like people think that like just hanging out at home is like oh you can't do that you got to go out like i because i've told people like just come by to the house and they're like are you sure you know i don't want to be rude i'm like why how is it rude like like i don't care <laughs> but you know that's yeah. that's where like you really know like if I, I would say if they're a good friend especially like inviting them to your home and stuff but yeah. you know it's just like just if they're a friend it doesn't it shouldn't matter where you're hanging out or how you're hanging out kirby comes over he yeah. raised my liquor cabinet he don't give a crap <laughs> so i mean that's i mean that's really all it is i mean it's just people they gotta they just really have to view things differently differently as far as what is actually important and a lot fail to do that right but, yeah and, and that's and that's what it and that's what it is um it's People don't realize what a friend is. And you see it, you see a lot of it in the family culture. It's the same way. You're always like you have you have the frugal auntie or you have the frugal cousin, and oh, they're square, they're square. So you never invite them to the family functions or to hang out or nothing. But then soon something go bad, you know, get an injury, be off from work. Then the first person they call them is that square. The same person that they didn't want to be around, that's the same person that they call them. And then the the thing I want people to understand is when you're only calling that person when you need them, how do you think that make them feel? So one day they get sick and tired and say, hell no. And that's my favorite line, hell no. Uh, when they say no, they're not helping, then you're mad at them because they didn't help you when, they, when you know they have the money. But you wasn't around when you didn't need them. So why the hell should you be around now? That's that's the conundrum people need to start realizing and stop trying to, you know, Monday morning quarterback and grade people on the end result and understand the whole process of how you got to that point. And that point is the point where you're sitting there looking crazy because the same person you don't want to be around is the same person that can change your financial future. But the people that destroy your financial future is the people you want to be around all the time. Somebody make that make sense for me. It's powerful. <laughs> but let me say, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Share, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.